For months after a Smith Station man was found strangled to death, investigators have a suspect behind bars. 29-year-old Rodney Germain Day is charged with murder, robbery, and theft. In an update to a story you saw first on 3, WRBL's Alex Durrance shares how the victim's family is reacting to the news. Investigators say the man behind me, Rodney Germain Day, emerged pretty early on as a suspect. When he was arrested on Friday, he was already at the Lee County Detention Center on an unrelated charge. Ricky Brooks's family says they can sleep easier now knowing that this man is behind bars. Ricky Brooks's family is able to come together Monday with a feeling they have been waiting on since January. We've been in constant prayer that that would come, become a closure at some point, and God has brought that closure to all our hearts. That closure comes with the arrest of 29-year-old Rodney Germain Day. At the end of January, Brooks was found strangled to death inside his Smith Station home. His car and other items were missing. Investigators say Day emerged as a suspect fairly early in the investigation. Deputies were able to link Day with Brooks on the night he was murdered, and months of hard work paid off. It is, is a great satisfaction to us to provide the victim's family with some answers. Uh, that, is, that is the first thing we want to do. Uh, obviously, any time a circumstance like this is, it takes place, uh, this type of crime, uh, the, the primary question is why. And, and that's what we want to try to do to the best of our ability is provide that family with some answers. The family says Ricky would want them to go on with their lives, but they can do that now knowing his alleged killer is behind bars. Knowing that, that we have closure now, knowing that we had no idea who it was in the beginning, now that we know that we got a name with whoever did this, it brings closure. It helps. And that I can sleep at night knowing that they won't, he, won't, he won't be able to do it to another family. Sheriff Jay Jones says that more arrests may be coming in the case. A Lee County grand jury will hear the case at an unknown date.